Hey fishy folks and happy water change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a great week. I know it's been a busy week for me, but it's hump day, so hump day! Before I get into the video guys, do me a favor if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, just take a big old uh, hammer and smash the Jesus out of it. In theory, don't actually do that because then you'll, you'll probably ruin your computer and stuff. So, uh, and then after you smash the subscribe button, if you haven't already, gently caress, you know, just caress like a baby's back, the, uh, the notification button. This way, you know, you get notified when I release new videos or if I do a live stream or whatever. Uh, and then when we're done, not now, when we're done, head over to michaelsfishroom.com and uh, check out my plecos and guppies I have for sale. Today, we are going to talk about the ponds. And to be honest, it was a lot of work putting them away and um, it was a lot of work cleaning them up. And I'm not sure it was worth it for me, time-wise. It's a fun hobby, it's a fun project, it's fun to see you know, what you get. But I think next year I may just put mutts out there in a couple of big tubs and let them go and see what happens. Uh, my smaller tubs, other than the Clarion tub, really didn't produce a whole lot. <coughs> Not happy with the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, grass guppies, the production there. And now maybe the alien got them, I don't know. Uh, but not happy at all, so do me a favor, grab a beverage and a snack. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like you should go grab some russet dark chips. All right, go grab those and a drink. I'll be right back. Stand by. Let's take a look what we got in this first orange bucket. Now, I did something very stupid yesterday. I put them all in buckets. <coughs> I had them in front of the tubs. Um, so I knew when I, what bucket was what. But then I brought the buckets inside one by one, or two by two actually, and brought them downstairs and forgot what was what. So, yeah, pretty dumb. But I guess it'll be like uh, Christmas or Hanukkah when you open a present, you'll see what's there. So let's see what's in this orange bucket. I really don't know, to be honest. Could be mutts. Man, look at that red mail. Holy cow, is that. That is gorgeous. I'm a little excited. Even the uh, the green cobra or yellow cobra male next to him looked pretty nice. But that that male with the red tail, woo, sweet. So here's what I'm gonna do, fishy folks. I have to probably drill at least one tank and plumb it, which shouldn't be a problem. I'm pretty much set up for that. It might take half an hour total. Um, but I'm gonna go through my my stuff here and I have a couple 10 gallons I'm probably gonna start with I'm probably gonna uh, put those in I already put the uh, uh, muck guppies in a muck guppy tank that I had some muck guppy fry from a, a, a subscriber of mine she had ponds outside and uh, she said come and get them <coughs> and so I went and then uh, yesterday she dropped off some more while I was out so I figured those were outside and they're pretty much soft water, so I just dumped the rest of them in there. And we'll see how hardy the guppies really are. I think they'll do fine, but. I don't remember what, what tank this came out of. I gotta be honest, what tub. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably look at some more of these guppies and uh, see what we got. So let's do that. Got that. That one so far is my favorite. Look at it, look at it. All right, let's see what else we got in here. At least I thought that was the, you know what? Maybe that was the red, white, and blue. I don't know what that was. There's a nice Cobra male. Probably a, a male I put in there, a breeder male I put in there. Yeah, I think, I think this orange one was my muck guppies and I must have put in the <clears throat> the American koi guppy that didn't breed true inside but seemed to breed true outside but the one that I had the one male I had didn't really look that great so I'm gonna call them mutt so that must be what's in there I'm gonna look seriously at that tank in a couple minutes and show you guys and see what it is so this one looks like the mutt guppies 
the Muck Guppy Pond, the 40 gallon ish blue pond. And overall, the yield of fry, I don't know what happened, but I'm not, not overly happy. I mean, these guys look great and there's definitely fry, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. Take one more scoop. Now she doesn't look like she's doing so well. So I'm gonna quickly separate her. I don't know, maybe she bounced back. Let's see. Uh, I gotta put her somewhere. But she does not look very happy. Stand by. All right, I'm back. She does not look very happy. I don't know what happened. My guess is she's, she's actually standing on her tail right now in the in the dip and pour. So we're gonna medicate these guys, put them in quarantine, and uh, there's about a thousand fry in here actually. So that's kind of nice. But uh, we gotta get them in a tank and uh, get them medicated. And uh, I'm probably gonna feed them and then medicate them tomorrow. Make sure they eat. Um, one of the things that people, I don't know if they know or not, but just like a person, if you're not eating, your body's not going to be able to, the fish's body's not going to be able to, you know, heal. So you want to make sure they eat, then medicate. <clears throat> just a quick little tip. I don't know if I've ever said that out loud, but kind of what I do. All right. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, bucket number two. By the way, the mystery is solved. I had already put away the... Uh, American Koi Guppy Brode, if you will. I don't. I, oh, that was the one in the Clarion tub. There was a lot of babies in there. So, fish room building tip number nine hundred and sixty-two. I don't know how many tips I've given, but um, I like to keep all the mutt guppies together. And so I have two tanks next to each other. Now I have uh, two tanks next to each other, a tank beneath one of those tanks with mutts, a tank over a couple of tanks with mutts, and a tank above with some mutts. So I have a lot of mutts because they're great sellers and uh, I don't want to run out. <clears throat> the last time I put them on sale, I, I almost ran out. So, all right, let's see what's in this blue five gallon bucket. And the water is really dark. I have no idea. I gotta be honest. None. Zero. It's a guppy. It's a nice looking guppy. Very dark. I don't know what the... Let's see what else we got in here. I call it dirt. Dirt. Stand by. All right, so what I have in this, this white bucket, <clears throat> and another tip, if you're gonna buy buckets and you have a choice and the cost isn't an issue to buy white or any other color, buy white. Because you can see pretty much everything against a white background, but it's hard to see against a blue background. Even the orange Home Depot buckets, a little hard to see, but anyway. So I got a plop and drop set up, uh, set up. So, you know, the net over the bucket, I'm gonna pour the water into that net and see. Yeah, there was no, there was nothing in there but dirt. All right, I got one guppy so far. We caught some fry. Man, it's hard to see what these guys are. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pour the bucket out into the net and then take a look at the guppies in some clean water. That's what we're gonna do. Cause I'm as curious as you as to what the heck is in this bucket. There's a lot of dirt and a lot of guppies in here. Let's get them in some water.
But Mike, you have to acclimate. Okay. Now, I did dump a lot of dirt in there. That wasn't the smartest idea ever either, but... I have no idea what these are. They just look like muck guppies. I'm really disappointed. Disappointed in my yield overall of guppies. <clears throat> I was hoping I'd find like, you know, the needle in the haystack, the diamond in the rough, if you will. But I haven't so far. So yeah, not too happy. The heck was that? Somebody pissed off Han, because he's making a mess. All right. I'm going to count these as mutts. I'm going to put them in the mutt tank. All right. Bucket number three. Not too happy. Not too happy. <sighs> this water is at least cleaner. I caught water wisteria. Yay! This is the platinum. The uh, red dragon mosaic platinum. No, the platinum red dragon mosaics. Yeah, yeah. You know, I bought a uh, label maker just today. I'm going to label all the guppies in the tanks. Well, the guppy tanks with their names. So I'm not like, this is the red mosaic dragon, red platinum mosaic dragon Dumbo wear. Yeah, I'm, sounds silly. So uh, yeah, that's what these are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them right in that tank, I think. That's what I think we're gonna do. We'll, uh, we got some dirt in there. Let's clean that dirt out. Sound effects are always helpful. <gasps> no! The net fell. Hopefully I didn't lose any fish in there. There's a lot of snails and crap in there. Do I want to do this? I don't. I don't want to do this. I'm, I'm, I really don't. You guys are thinking to yourself, man, this guy's an idiot. Yeah, pretty much. Going in the tank. But now, but now I have a bucket almost filled with water and I don't know if there's any fish in there that left the net when it dropped in the thing. So now I gotta. fishy folks. I plopped and dropped those red platinum, no, those platinum red dragon mosaics. Plop and drop is where it's at. I decided that's what I'm going to do because that's what I preach. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, spill some water on me. All right, folks, last bucket. Grab a scoop. Did you get a snack? What did you get? I got fry. I really like to find a couple really nice bluegrass or red grass guppies in here. I got dirt. Oh, there's a fry in there. I think this is the blue, this is the second tub with that really nice blue uh, male guppy. There he is, he's in there. He looks kind of stressed out now and he's on my side so you probably can't see him. But yeah, that's what this is. All right, well, I'm gonna get these guys uh, netted out in the tank, stand by. 
All right, fishy folks, these are the four best looking guppies I've found from my ponds. Um, they're all from the mutt guppy tank. And probably, at least that red cobra, uh, that one probably went out as an adult. Everything else uh, might have been born outside or was at least fry, but the colors are popping. Uh, it looks like on that purple one there are some white spots, but they're not. It's just like air bubbles from the, you know, from the water, so it's not ick or anything. It's just air bubbles. I just put them in here. They do look a little skinny. Of course, I'm going to treat all of them uh, just like I do new fish, and I will probably be adding some of the. Uh, Fenbendazole flake from everything aquatic uh, in here as they eat. I don't think they have anything. Uh, I don't think they're skinny because they have parasites. I think they're skinny because as it got colder, there was lack of food. That's what I think. But all right, fishy folks, that's it for the uh, guppy pond extravaganza. Until next year, everyone stay fishy.